<laughs> yeah. Cheers, buddy. Nice, somebody remembered from last year. brought the cap because I wore it last year and you never have. You alright pal? Yeah good mate. If I remember rightly we saw this last year and this is the Cleman 55. So this has got all the uprated turbos and we've got some Ferraris coming in.
is not something that's too common around. Quite old, retro. Nice colour though. And the sun, the, 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 the sun has come out and it's nice and warm and it's just what we need for sports cars in the park. So at the Concorde detailing stand we've got a 488 Challenge race car and we have a TDF looking resplendent in yellow. We'll go around the TDF first. Detailing is their passion. Triple A yellows absolutely popping in the sun. And we've got the Challenge race car. <laughs> and then to finish off their collection, we have an Enzo. Absolutely fabulous. Getting busy as well here at Sports Cars in the Park. GGT coming through. <laughs> GT4. how loud that is. We come to a car that I really would like, yes, white one showing all the flies, but an XKR, again a car I'd like to own at some point. And then we have the yeah. F1 Limited Edition.
I love the cassettes. Look at the cassettes. GTV <laughs> Nice gold wheels on that One, five, six.
Lancer Delta Integral here. Yeah. That's um. I think we saw this. I saw this down at the motorist a few days, uh, a few weeks ago. Looking absolutely stupendous. car that I lost after. One point I might get. VJ. Five year warranty. Yeah. No extra cost. Sixty. Added. Yeah. Nice SS. And then we have this SVJ. If you haven't already guessed from the number plate. Wheels and things. So Alexanders are here today. So let's have a look and see what they've brought down. And guess guess what I can see. This looks like the DBS that Sam off seen through glass uh, drove in a, over the last month. Yes, it is. It's a beautiful colour, and this is a Q car. And the colour is really popping. But with this being a Q car, it's got a special interior that, if you look on Sam's channel, you'll be able to see. But the 
two-tone interior and this is absolutely gorgeous with the carbon top. What else have they got? Genius TO. Looking absolutely bonkers. But in all honesty, I much prefer the colour of this to Schmee's. I know Tim enjoys his purple and he's gone after the brighter colours, but I do think the green really pops from the grey. So here at Alexander's and almost missed this. Car of the moment, M3 competition, but it's the Soaring Estate. Sorry, with the sun out, I don't know how good the interior shots are actually coming through. Aston Martins here today. <laughs> Look at the work on that angle. That's been hot rodded. Well. Just going to cut across here because that looks beautiful, girl. So now we're off into the French section and we start with the Peugeot 406 Coupe, a Renault 21 and let's have a look and see what else we've got on France.
this is a car that you don't often see very much. We have an Alpine. In that absolutely stunning purple colour. That looks really rather tasty. <laughs> and a 1.6 GTI. That is a very, very tidy 205. and see what we can find in the German section today. Got some SLK 55s. All right. Nice 2012 CDI R172. Spoke, spoke to the owners of this. They picked it up. This has now got 19,000 miles on it for a 2012 registered car. This Porsche, we, we saw this roll in. Chronograph here, limited edition. This lovely bronze colour with a contrast tan interior that looks absolutely I do like a tan interior so just as we're going round I spotted this which is a brand new GR86 Brand, brand new. Not seen one of these on the roads before. I actually quite like the, the improvements in the design. That's um, look quite different. I don't know they can pick up the interior. And then next to it, we've got the Supra, but it's the first time I've seen one with a body kit on, and that... Yeah, so the... I do remember seeing this Lexus last year. I think it's got different wheels on it. Not only those chrome ones. And yeah, this LC500. Looks absolutely gorgeous in this, and this green that's just is. popping, <laughs> and then the interior. There's a whole herd of cow in there. Yeah. <laughs> Something a bit different here. We've got a Liberty Walk Mustang. Most definitely, Liberty Walk. Mm. 
It might have been real. Yeah. Bit of work done to that engine. Oh, a new Corvette C8. First one of those I've seen on the road. As we turn around, we have the Cleman that we saw coming in earlier on. We had a good look around this last year. Yes. Think of it different. We'll make a beeline across to that. It is not every day you see one of those. Don't see many of these. Brabus. Yeah, the but with the yeah. Keep looking yeah, because the yeah, it is a holding that site. LS3 6.2 litre. Oh, 
they don't look like standard seats in that. Just going to make a beeline over here because this is the third Fiat Coupe that I have seen in white. I've already seen them in loads of different colours, but never seen one in white. And to be fair, I think this is the only one at the show. It's looking uh, in very, very good condition. So that's a credit to its owner. Very nice, Ooh, big tailpipe. Carry on and look around the last little bit and see what else we can see. Old and new. And then we've got four F types. I'll be honest, for some reason, I've never been the biggest fan of the F type. 
You know the flying buttresses? Where did it? Nice F430. F1 Construction World Championships 2008. And then next to it, we've got a McLaren. And me and my friend have just been having a chat, Paul. Because the one thing about McLarens is you never know, we really don't know that much now, until you look on that little side panel, you don't actually know which one. You're looking at this 570 GT. Mm. Oxy Flogger 400. Just do the back run after this. Now these are going up in value as well. Golf GTIs and the Sirocco VR6. Oh, yeah. I think he's got.
So guys, so you, this is the end of our walk around this entire show. It's not been quite as busy as it was last year. There's not quite as many cars, but um, I hope it's been worthwhile. Watch for you. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, if you do like it, and I will see you for the next one down the road. All right, thank you. Bye-bye.